Hello everyone, welcome to the corner. Once again, another one of my old survivors. Now this car got a pretty stout little history behind it. Back years ago, I built just regular out of the box stuff. Started doing a little pro street work on a couple cars here and there. Didn't really dabble a whole lot with cutting and customizing. But years later, I went to Hillside in Chicago here. It was a model swap meet that they held every year and had a lot of good stuff there. That was probably the biggest model swap meet in my area. And one year I was down there, walked into one of the side rooms and I met this group of guys. There were four guys sitting at the table promoting their model car club. And I thought, wow, this is kind of cool. I've been wanting to kind of get into doing a custom car at that point. And seeing the stuff that they had on the table, it made me realize, hey, this is the kind of group I need. This is what I, I'm looking for. Because it made me kind of feel like I belonged somewhere. And I got to talking to the guys that day and told them I was kind of getting ready to start working on something. And they're like, well, you need to. So I signed up for their new, you know, club, got their newsletter throughout the year. And along with that, ideas came in. And that's when I started building this. Now, mind you, this is probably 27 years ago. I'd been with the car club, Custom Kemp's and Miniature, for probably 26 to 27 years. Yeah, the first six years I didn't, I joined the club, stayed with the club, but I didn't go to their meets. I just kept getting their newsletter and kind of going that way <clears throat> up until the point of after six years realizing that Davenport Iowa wasn't too far from me I figured I'm going to make the drive and go so in the car I went and out to the show I went and had the best time of my life and ever since then I've missed maybe five shows six shows over the years either due to work or my son was sick or you know, what have you, something came up. So, like I say, 27 years-ish, 26, 27 years, is when this thing came about and started. Since then, it's been probably three different colors. And this is one of the car that, would, if you saw the green S10 that I just showed here not too long ago, this is the car that needs, again, another total repaint, because one day I picked up the hood, and the back corner of the hood hit the roof and took a nice big chunk right out of the roof. So it's like I say, it needs to repaint again. That and over the years, the roof has kind of sagged. It's kind of flattened out. You used to have a little bit more of a crown to it. But hey, what do you expect? You know, <laughs> 26 years ago, I'm showing my age too. So <laughs> that again, aren't we all? But anyway. This started out life as a 51 Chevy Fleet Line by AMT and has taken on a life of its own, if, if you want to say that. Uh, the roof has been chopped, the hood has been pancaked, and, and you know, um, cut out. Um, it still features the stock 51 Fleet Line grill in it, all molded into the body. The back end has three different cars built into the back end, which we'll get into here in a little bit. <clears throat> now, you've probably seen this on the, I think I had this out when I did the uh, the body drop video, and I think it's been, I think it's in my intro video as well too, intro to the page, but uh, we're going to get into a little bit more detail with it today. Like I say, the roof has been chopped over the years, it's kind of, whoops settled down and kind of flattened out a little bit. It used to have a little bit more of a curve, you know, crown to it, if you want to call it that. The back half, you may kind of recognize this shape right here. <laughs> That's kind of a giveaway as to what my fins are made out of. Quarters are filled in, skirted out. Side pipes just came out of the parts box. Interior is pretty much all stock inside this thing. 
don't know if I can get a good shot here for you or not of it. Roof is chopped so much, but it's got aluminum steering wheel in it. Or steering column, I should say. Sorry about that. You can't really get a good look, but there's a shot of the steering column. I think the steering column was one of the ones by Parts by Parks. <clears throat> Maybe we turn around maybe and get a better shot of the interior. That's eh, not much better. Uh, I always like purple. Purple is my favorite color. That's why it came out with the purple on it this time. It was blue. And it was kind of a, I don't know, sage green, I guess, kind of color. Didn't really like the sage green on it too much. That's when it went purple. But now, like I say, it needs a repaint on it again. I think if I do repaint it, it'll just go back to kind of more of a traditional color may end up being all black or, you know, traditional lead sled type color. Don't know yet. May just leave it the way it is. Been this way for past eight years, so. <laughs> but this one is, like I say, it's been body dropped. The body's been dropped. You know, the frame. What I did is um, I sectioned the interior tub and did the body drop on it and tucked the frame up inside the car. That, you know, gives it that lowered look without messing with the suspension too much. But I did block the rear suspension, and I did cut down the front springs to get the suspension to drop as well. It's got full exhaust on it all the way back out. Like I say, you might recognize those fins in the back. We'll get into that here in a little bit. <laughs> There's a front end shot of it. <clears throat> like I say, stock 51 fleet line grill just molded into the body. Put a valance, I think, off of a 57 Chevy just to get that lower lower chin on it. Headlight bezels are Frenched into the into the body. The hood was slightly pancaked. What I mean by pancaked is I took a section out of the round, the crest of the hood, and instead of having this hood being such a tall, tall, bull nose looking hood, I took the top plane of the hood and just dipped it down a little bit to the front. So I took like an eighth inch section out around the front of the hood, you know, cut a, like a pie wedge section out of the front of the hood and then just dropped it down and brought the two together. And then I cut the outer edge of the hood off and molded it into the body. The hood's no, normally supposed to come down through here. All this is all this is part of the hood that's been molded to the body. I don't know where the I think the hood scoop made it maybe came out of the 49 Ford. I'm not sure where it came out of. Mirrors are out of the parts box. Now on this one, I couldn't get glass to conform to the body, so this is just a sheet of that flat acetate sheet. I think the back one was the same way, yep. Sometimes you got to use that stuff to get the windows to flow. Back then, I didn't really work with glass a whole lot, and I used this acetate sheet a lot. It just seemed to work better for what I was doing then. Trying to do this without as much glare off the lights as I can, but it's not working. That's the tail shot of it. The quarter extensions are 57 Chevy. I know some of you, most of you probably figured that out already. Tail lights are out of a 1970 Buick Grand Sport, the GSX car by Monogram. The rear bumper, that's out of a kit. Anybody know what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's upside down. <laughs> there. I'll give you another hint. Anybody know yet? Take that bumper. Flip it upside down. Cut it off at just above the license plate. Cut it off at this reveal. And that's what you get. Rear bumper off the 90 Beretta Pro Street. That and the license plate is 
custom caps in miniature. We had a bunch of those license plates made up years ago for the club members. I hope you can see it. It's a little bit better there. KKIM across the plate, and then it's got a, a lead slide going across the bottom. Oh, well, you can see that with my shaky hands. Here you can kind of see a little bit better. Aluminum tube for the exhaust port or the exhaust pipe. Now, I haven't been showing the engine off yet because I wanted to kind of show it last, I guess. Back years ago when these cars were built, they were just built with a stock engine up front because they wanted them more for show. They weren't really all about go. They were just for show. But I wanted to take it one step further. And I did this one, built this one with the, the go in mind. So as you'll see here, it's got a big black 454 in it with a bunch of uh, four different sidewinder, side draft carburetors on it. Uh, spark plug wires are parts by parts with the aluminum distributor. I think the intake is, the intake's been reworked, but I forget what the intake came off of. Added the fuel lines coming out of the fuel logs. I think the air cleaners and injectors came off of a sprint car now that I think of it. Air cleaners I know did, but I think these are the injectors off the sprint car too. So yeah, it's been warmed up a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> like I say, this part of the hood was molded into the body. Yeah, that's what the hood looks like off the body. Here you can see some of the work I've done to the hood. My pie wedge took, like I say, eighth of an inch section. Took an eighth of an inch section this way out of the hood and brought the two pieces down together. And then I added some epoxy into the bottom side of the hood just to make it rigid. What was happening being I had the hood cut in two different pieces. Every time I'd sand it, I'd crack the, the joints on it. So I did this just to you know make the hood a little bit more rigid so it didn't flex near as much. And that way it'd hold up to it. And it was this corner that hit the roof. <laughs> Took a nice big chunk. I was putting the car away one day after a show. Putting it away and I had my hood, the hood in my other hand and I put the car away and I went to bring my hand up to put the hood down on the car and got about eight, ten inches above the car and dropped the hood out of my hand. Ladder right on the roof. Took a big chunk right out of the paint. Yeah, I could touch it up, but yeah. And all you can see it shows the green below it. I'd have to take some pictures out of this to show some of the before shots of what it used to be in color. But all in all, that's it. That's my 51 Fleet Line Custom Lead Sled. And this is kind of what started everything. This is my first actual true cut something up body-wise cut something up, make something of it, this, and this is what got me started into this crazy hobby of hacking stuff up and <laughs> doing the crazy stuff that I do. So yeah, I can attribute and thank the guys from Custom Kemp's for all the years of being a member of their club and hanging out with all those guys, sharing their ideas. They shared mine. And it's kind of, it's one of those groups that when you're a member of it, and I'm sure you guys can relate to it, you guys got, probably have got clubs just like it, that when you're a member of it and you see the stuff that other people do, it pushes you as a builder to become better. And that's what this club is about. Nobody 
bashes anybody else's stuff for what they did wrong or whatever else they give positive uh, criticism about it and they just kind of egg each other on we have our fun too but <laughs> but we like to you know kind of push people to excel and be better at what they do and over the years they've you know helped me develop a little bit better so it's a good bunch of guys you know john randy i mean i can't rename off everybody marty two franks and i mean there's a lot of guys in this club less and uh craig i mean like i said there's so many guys i couldn't name them off the top of my head but great great boot bunch of guys great group and i appreciate all the years of being with them and helping me become what i've become as a builder yeah we've like i say had some crazy ideas through the years and some crazy challenges and crazy dares happen <laughs> had quite a bit of them but it's all been in fun the CD Speedster that I built out of the Parakeet Bird Feeder, that was one that came out of the club as a challenge. Thanks, John and Randy. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this, like I said, I just wanted to kind of share this one today and let you see kind of what started and what spawned everything that I've done over the years. Like I say, this is probably at least 26, 27 years old because I've been a member of the club for at least that give or take i forget how many years exactly but um yeah with that in mind that's about it call it, i kind of dubbed this one the grape ape with the being purple and whatnot so <laughs> some of my cars back in the years i like to always name them i don't know why Just, i don't know weird quirky thing i don't know whatever back in the day it was kind of the thing to do everybody named their cars but nowadays nobody really does that times have changed and uh i've always wanted to do a second one of this but kind of a modern take on it i always wanted to try to you know do one like today build one just like it use the same parts do the same stuff to it but kind of build it in today's standards just to kind of see if it'd be any, any better any different who knows might be may not I don't know who knows <laughs> but anyway that's it for today wrap this up and we'll send them on out to you that in mind hope everybody's having a good weekend uh it's sunday here sunday morning and uh hope you've had a good weekend and staying all healthy and being safe and have a good one we'll talk to you later see you on the corner everyone bye-bye